Hi everybody, my name is Irene. Welcome to Theo and Olaf. We recently took a trip to San Francisco as a last hurrah for Olaf. Um, for those of you who don't know, we are actually moving out of California. So we want to have Olaf uh, just enjoy his last days here in the Bay Area. So we'll tell you all about it. So we started out our day at Alamo Square. For those of you who don't know, Alamo Square is home to the famous Painted Ladies. It's a row of Victorian homes that became very popular uh, during the TV series Full House. So we thought it'd be a great way for Olaf to enjoy the views there. There's also a dog park there, so we thought it would be a great opportunity for Olaf to get tired before the rest of the day. And Olaf had a great time playing with the dogs at the top of Alamo Square. After Alamo Square, we decided to get some food. We went to Park Chalet over by Ocean Beach. Um, it's great because uh, it's outdoors, so dogs can sit outside. The only problem was that the wait was a lot longer than we expected. Um, so before we went to the restaurant, we actually took Olaf to the beach to just get some energy out. And then we waited for maybe like an hour for our table. Um, that hour wasn't super great. There were plenty of people who were greeting him with high-pitched voices, lots of kids that want to pet him as well. So um, Olaf was a little bit on edge. Um, he was fine though with a few dogs that passed by him. So uh, we were generally fine with that behavior. Once we got to the restaurant, it was a lot better. Um, there were a few dogs that greeted him by barking at him once we entered, but Olaf was generally fine. Uh, we were able to tie him around a table and he didn't wander too far. He stayed, um, where we were and eventually he just settled down. Um, so he was a pretty good boy at the restaurant. Um, we assume because he was probably tired at that point. So after lunch, we decided to go to Land's End, which is at the northwesternmost part of the city. It's home to the famous Sutro Baths and it has really great views of the Pacific Ocean. So we just took Olaf around on a little hike and he was generally really good. Um, he wasn't pulling too much. Um, he was really good around other people. He was very, very good. So we were very happy with how he did there. So after lunch, we decided to take Olaf to see the world famous Golden Gate Bridge. Um, we were so excited for it, but it didn't exactly go as planned. Um, so there's actually a walkway that you can go under the bridge and Olaf was getting really nervous when we were there. Um, he heard a lot of cars going over the bridge and it was just really loud, had like this rattly booming noise. So Olaf was crouching, didn't really want to move forward, which is kind of surprising because usually he'll want to like pull forward toward places that are new and exciting, but he just wasn't having it. Um, we eventually walked up toward the pathway where you can go over the bridge, um, but we discovered that you can't actually walk your dog across the bridge. So we were a little bit disappointed about that, but it worked itself out because Olaf just wasn't feeling it anyway. So to end our day, we decided to take Olaf to Chrissy Field where you can get really nice views of the Golden Gate Bridge from the beach. Um, so when Olaf was there, he uh, wasn't quite a good doggy like we had hoped. Um, one thing was that our e-collar stopped working and usually we rely on our e-collar for recall, um, especially in distracting environments. So when Olaf was at the beach, he just didn't want anything to do with us. He was chasing another kid and the kid's dog. He saw another small pup and was bothering that dog. And eventually he went after a lady who was just walking along the water and just kept going after her. At first she was okay with it, but I think eventually she was getting pretty annoyed that Olaf just wouldn't leave her alone. Um, we kept calling Olaf, he wouldn't come. We tried to do the thing where we're like, buy Olaf and walk away. And usually he's pretty good at feeling FOMO and being like, oh wait, I want to like, go to you, but he wasn't doing it either. So eventually we had to go up to him and get him. And usually that's really hard because he thinks it's like a game of chase and wants to run away. But um, yeah, we kinda, it kind of ended on a frustrating note with Olaf. Um, so we, we do know now that like if we ever had to take him to the beach, which he does love, that we have to have a means to get him back, um, either ensuring that the e-collar is working or that we really work on building his recall. And um, we would really want to work on the latter. Uh, one thing we're going to try to do is to work on his recall with the whistle. So that's really obvious that we're the ones calling him. Uh, we'll probably use a pattern too, so that if someone else uses a whistle, um, he can distinguish hopefully uh, us from someone else's whistle. 
Um, so we had some key takeaways from this trip. I think overall we did have a good time. It was a little bit exhausting, I think especially for Eric because he was the one who was handling Olaf for most of the day. But um, we, we do enjoy being able to take Olaf out and we hope that Olaf can continue to uh, become better behaviorally. One thing we're working on too is being able to say no when it comes to people asking if he can greet him or pet him. So we're hoping to gain more of that confidence just to say no and you know make sure that he can be on his best behavior. So that's it for our update on Olaf. We hope to have adventures with him soon. And for those of you who've been watching, you may be wondering why we're filming on the stairs. Um, the reason is because we are busy packing for a upcoming move and if you're interested in hearing more about our move why we're doing it where we're going um, we are sending a digital newsletter soon about, with all the details so if you want to hear more about that and to hear more updates on Olaf and Theo and what we've been up to uh, sign up for our digital newsletter uh, the link is in the description box below so check it out we'll be sending updates soon um, and as always uh, we want to thank you for watching this content and if you enjoy it be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.